Adamant and Arita have finally acquired some drip. Yes, that's right, in a most unexpected event for Pokemon Masters, Adamant and Arita have some brand new variants with modern clothing. What the heck is going on here? Well, things start off with Dahlia, Fantina, Tierno, and Kiawe discussing an upcoming dance performance in Pasio. I had never realized how many trainers there were who specialized in dance, but I'm glad they're all here. Yes, even Tierno, though the topic of discussion shifts to some rumors of stopping heard out in the forest at night. When they all head out to explore it for themselves, they discover Adamant, Arita, Rei, Akari, and an Ursaluna and Hisuian Zorark. Apparently there was another space-time distortion in Pasio where these Pokemon appeared, and the only way to protect the regular people who were there was to capture the Pokemon. I think this is a pretty cool moment, we're still getting to see some of the Legends Arceus action here, even though it's presented in a vertical mobile game format. But it's still pretty crazy because these are actually the first Pokemon that Adamant and Harita have actually captured, rather than just partnering with a Pokemon and having it follow them around. And these are some pretty appropriate Pokemon for them. Ursaluna's pre-evolutions are native to the Crimson Mirelands where the Diamond Clan settlement is, while Zorark can be found in the Alabaster Icelands not too far from the Pearl Clan settlement. Hypothetically, even if they didn't meet these Pokemon in the space-time distortion here, they could have easily met them in their homes in Hisui. So even though this is in the soft canon of Pokemon Masters, these Pokemon could definitely be part of their canon teams. It's the little details like this that I love. So now in the present, they've been trying to better understand these new partners that get a little uncontrollable when outside of their Pokeballs. The other characters suggest that they try dancing in order to form a bond and convey their feelings, and you know, I feel like that's a pretty valid suggestion. Music and rhythm are great ways to communicate beyond language. Fantina even backs this up, stating that she didn't even know the language when she first came to Sinnoh. Side note, I just realized that yeah, we didn't see her ancestors in Legends Arceus because her family line didn't live here before her. So I guess we can expect to see them in Pokemon Legends ZA next year. Anyway, the clan leaders acquire their new clothing and they look great. I really like that they're still able to keep some similar feelings to their original outfits while still fitting in the modern day, and not being too flashy. Irita's big ol' shoes still translate over with more of a focus on dance. She has a ribbon in her hair instead of a band from before, though it's still a bit sad to see her not wearing it even if for a moment because of how important it is to her. But I might be able to forgive this because of the jean shorts 10 out of 10 clothing choice. They even have a little wisp motif that matches Hisui and Zorark. Meanwhile, Adamant's got the cargo joggers and a layered hoodie absolute peak. I, I would totally wear this. I wonder how he was able to get that moon and cloud design, like if he got it custom made or something. At this point, they split off into groups and we get some nice moments for each of them. Irita is a little worried about being able to gain Hisui and Zorark's trust because she had heard they harbor hatred toward humans. But she's able to break through by playing her flute. Hey, don't hide from me. I know you're showing her from the back because you didn't even bother modeling in the flute. Even in the original games, it's, it's literally just a tube and it doesn't take that long. But anyway, this is such a good idea given that we know about her being able to play the flute from the core video games, and it goes along with the musical theme. Zorark definitely likes it, and so the two of them are able to form a sync pair. Meanwhile, Adamant is able to bond with Ursaluna by talking about the moon, noticing it's the same here as in Hisui and asking it to help him continue understanding the bonds between people and Pokemon. They of course form a sync pair together, I, I really just love how big Ursaluna is and how goofy it is here. And finally, the event ends with them all performing on stage together and it's presented in the best way possible for a mobile game. Sure, I would have love to see this better fleshed out visually, but something like this can really only happen in Pokemon Masters anyway, and they're consistently doing an amazing job at that, so it, it was a great ending. By bringing in characters from Hisui at all, of course it was only a matter of time before we see them exposed to modernization. Like I said, the clothing designs stay pretty true to the originals and I'm a fan of them, and learning dance as a way to bond with their Pokemon is also a cool idea because it isn't really something that can only happen in modern times. I mean, Kiawe's dances definitely date back to years old traditions. But in a place like Pasio, where you have so many other characters bringing in their knowledge and modern day hindsight, it's an appropriate way of building friendship with Pokemon. But it's definitely something that you could teach to somebody else that isn't relying on like modern day technology or something. It obviously worked out here. I'm also glad we're getting to see more of the Hisuian characters at all because we definitely aren't getting a direct sequel to Legends Arceus. So this is all just bonus material and I'm absolutely loving it. In the end, I think this was a fun event that respectfully gave Adamant and Arita some more to do without overstepping things, which I was a little afraid of ever since they were brought here. Now just kiss and make my ship cannon. If you're wondering, I was able to scout for Arita and Zorark in a decent amount of roles. Hopefully I'll be able to get Adamant too before time runs out. But I am definitely very happy. So let me know what you think in the comments below and what you would like to see going forward for them as well as everyone else we know from Hisui. Anyway, I'm off to learn even more ways of bonding with my Pokemon. 
Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great Gators. DeAndre, Viz, Justin R, Dartholomew, El Dashi, Switz Cheese, Lockadox, Caden Herb, Panchina USC, Leafy Lilith, Skyraker, Eevee, Victor Brian, Dijon, Matthew Kelly, Mushar Siddiqui, Jacksident Prone, Gallantry, Gator Kid 509, TF, Cheeseburger Lasers, Mathaclock 947, Nomad Nobi, Pastel Blood, Taijirai, Justin R, Volity, Cosmo Zero, Phantom, and Quago. If you would like to support, see your name here, get access to emotes for comments, live streams, and sometimes early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this is Gatorx, and I'll catch you all later. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. You have to sneak up carefully and catch a Pokemon. Okay, okay let's try this again. Gotcha! Wanna be a legend? Pokemon Legends Arcus.